Good morning. It is uh, just about 20 minutes after 9 on Friday morning, the 16th of August 2019. Quick review. Reminding traders uh, to use risk capital you can afford to lose. And e for eminiwizard.com and marketwizards.com. A number of my thoughts that are relative to markets on our website and review that from time to time to see some of the things that I think are important. And key among them is the idea of making sure you are using risk capital that you can afford to lose. All right, quick peek. <clears throat> I had suggested that we've got a legitimate target today of 81 and a quarter to 82.50. <clears throat> we were going to use that as resistance pre-market with the hope of that as a stop that will enable us to come backwards and get a little bit. The first primary target that we had was a 71 and a quarter. I said paid for sure. 71 and a quarter and you can see how that reacted <clears throat> when the first touch of that took profits but the inability to get above 75 and then coming through this tells you that the high is probably temporarily in and <clears throat> traders are electing to come backwards in a regression trade rather than <clears throat> taking um selling a higher, buying a higher high and selling it higher. And uh, typically this is called the convenient trade where you're hoping that that holds and that you've done this egregious move overnight and that you can come back and get a four, a five, or a six. 60 back would be at 60. And I said, we're going to use this 64 to 65 as our aggressive support. That means when you are there, make sure you are paid. So pre-market, anybody that's played pre-market should lock. Make sure you get paid. And this look is a five minute chart and it's the overnight change. If we're looking at the weekly chart, this is the frame that we talked about. And I'd said early that 